You know, yeah, it'd just be easier to tell everybody to follow the system and not have to make this big uh, skip. I mean, making a cake wrong is worse than making it's it so right. It's so much harder than just, yeah. which really is the point, and we need to make that point. Yeah. It's so much harder so much more to difficult just do to it, it wrong than wrong. it is just to follow the system. So then, yeah. Uh, Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. So then what we'll do. You're gonna make the cake. We're gonna make the and cake. And I'm gonna make a lemon meringue pie. <laughs> we're gonna do the cake. Yeah. One of these box ones. Okay. And then uh, I'll put something in the oven and we'll just, you, you can just shoot out the five minute deal afterwards. Okay. Sounds good. Alright, so let's just move this, all this, some of this stuff out of the way. No, we're just. Your eggs. Just to know that this is my organized area. All of my Imagine ingredients. Recording? Yeah. <laughs> nice. All of my ingredients are labeled. You're gonna have to beep out the. Why are your ingredients labeled? Because I do things according to the system. I label. I follow the instructions exact. If it calls for a cup of sugar, I put a cup of sugar. I don't just wing it. That's true. I'm, I, I follow a duplicatable process. That's true. Yeah, that's that's right. that and is you true. also made the little labels. And I put the labels yeah. on. Yeah. Okay. okay, so we're so, going to make a cake today. We're going to make a cake. Yeah, we're going to make a Steve's cake. But I, a I, cake. I, I, we have to kind of vary things a little bit. So you have a recipe? Well, Steve's, Steve is a very good uh, cook. He likes to bake. He likes to bake pies. But he, he's not like a like a day to day cooking person. Like Definitely not. The like weekly meals and that kind of stuff. No, not so much. So, uh, women of the twenty first century mm -hmm. make cakes from boxes. I see, not from scratch. Not so much. Mm. My mom used to make them from so, scratch. So, oh, your mother. Yeah. So anyway, um, she so you made have an excellent two, cake. So you have two here. I turn that off. Hang on a second. So you have your choice. Super moist. You should probably choose the one that you uh, don't like so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we okay. have super chocolate. So we have devil's food. The, okay. Or triple chocolate fudge. Let's make the devil's food. Okay. It, it'll be easier. A little bit easier. Yeah, the detail. The, the, the devil's in the details. The, the devil's in the details. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so here's how it works. They give you... They, they just tell you it's it's only three steps and right. only three ingredients. Wow, that's pretty good. So if you follow this. So it's like a recipe. It's like a, like this is a proven. It's. I got it. They almost, they virtually guarantee that if you do it this way, you'll have a cake at the end. Oh, that's good. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so. Okay, so let's start mixing. I'll get you the stuff. You just tell me what you need. Oh, I'm making the cake? Yeah. Oh. So, uh. Let's not use this. Okay. So first, um, and we're kind of tight for time today, so we're gonna well, keep the train moving. So here you go. Okay. You, uh, so there you go. Go ahead and you just tell me what you need, I'll go grab it. Well, first I would need the box open. Well, not so much. There's something, you, it tells you the steps, one, two, three. Oh, step one, set oven to 350 degrees, coat the bottom of the pan with no stick cooking spray or shortening and just a simple flour dusting. Yeah, so the first thing is we have to turn the oven on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so 350 degrees, on. but I don't have time. Look, I gotta, I've, I've got to get to an appointment. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta call an agent here a little bit. It says 350 degrees, for how long? Uh, well, we're. I don't well, how much glasses. pan do we have? I don't here? have my glasses on. So we're we have a 13 a, by 9 pan. So it's yeah. 34 minutes. Well, we can't. I don't have 34 minutes. So instead of doing 350 degrees, let's do 450. And then be, and then we can cut this you time down. You can make a cake at 450. Why not? It'll be like a brick. Why? Well, save time. It, it makes and sense. It's it, it makes sense if it, if, if it only takes 34 to 38 minutes to bake this cake at 350 degrees. And I'm in a hurry and I got an appointment to go to, which I do in a half hour. If we increase the temperature from 350 degrees to 450 degrees, we can cut this time down and I can make my appointment. Okay, but I think I should probably order a cake. All right, well, let's set it at 350 degrees. So, four, what? So, 450? 450, 450 degrees. Uh, yeah, okay. there you go. Perfect. Perfect. So now it says we need to coat the bottom of the pan with no stick cooking spray or shortening and a flour dusting. 
Yeah. Why would we do that first before the cake's even done? Because you have to put, you have to do the no stick spray before you We can you cut out the flower cake. dusting. Man, that's silly. I, I'm, we're, not, we're not making a decoration here. We're making a cake. So you don't want to spray the bottom. It's going to stick. You're going to, it's going to be hard to get out. But if you well, don't you can put your shortening in if you want to, but the flower dusting is silly. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, look, I mean, we're not looking for, I mean, that's just silly. Why do you think we're not looking for, We're not looking for, because, because somebody right. wanted to make it look pretty. I don't think that's necessary. And I, I've baked a few cakes in my life. So you I, have never baked a cake in your life. Well, I, I, I don't think the flower dusting is necessary. Well, let's skip it then. Okay. This is your cake. Then it says, well, uh, wait, we need to uh, beat the cake mix. What? Beat the cake mix, it says. <laughs> you have to read the rest of the sentence. Oh, what? <laughs> beat the, the cake mix, is what it says, and a comma. Yes. It means pause. <laughs> beat the cake mix, water, oil and eggs in bowl with mixer on me. Have they expected the people to follow these instructions? Yes. Beat the cake mix. What was, what? Wait, what must we beat it with? Well, you can beat it with a spoon. <laughs> it says to beat the cake mix. Look, you want me to follow this rest or follow this ready? Beat the cake mix, water, oil, and eggs. How much? How, it doesn't say how long it was to beat it. You have to put the stuff in the bowl. Oh, okay, all right, all right. I don't know who made this up, but they were obviously a quack. Obviously not a man. Clearly really not. Three right now. Okay, this is a hand mixer. I'm just gonna stop hitting the back. We have to beat it. I'm just trying to follow the directions. Okay, do I, do I put it in the bowl? Yes, you do. It didn't say how long to beat the cake mix. Make our stars. It does tell you how long. It does? Where? Oh yeah, for two minutes. You have to read the sentence. This is we're gonna have to step way back to like remedial reading here. You have no, to. I've kind of done this. Thing. I was gonna do this by myself. Well, I don't. I don't need a coach okay. to show me how to do this business. What experience do you have in baking cakes? That I baked cakes. That's the oh. experience I have. About a million of them. Hmm. Well, it says beat the cake mix. Do you have any proof of that? I mean, like, is it? Is it? Do you have? Do you have? Is it a proven yes. success? <laughs> Bake. Beat the cake mix, which I already did. Water, oil, and eggs in bowl with a mixer on medium speed. How come you just can't use the, the kitchen aid back there? It's a whole lot easier. Well, you can. That's all right. You can use Nobody that. Nobody will be able to see you. And I can all right. That's fine. They don't want to see me anyway. So beat it for two minutes. Well, well I got to put the eggs in. So I need to put the eggs the in. The mixer thing is not going to happen. What? I don't have a plug over here. No. So you're just going to have to Whoever designed this house, I don't know what we paid for it, but it was uh, too much. Too much. Oh, yeah, so I need to have a cup of oil. We'll just use a spoon. Half a cup of oil. Okay. Well, I got so, 20 minutes. Okay. How's here. that oven doing? 450. Okay, good. All right, we need uh, half straight. a cup of oil. Perfect. Okay. Now put that in the bowl with the cake mix. You're going to beat them all together. That's oh, okay. The here we go. Okay, what's the next thing? It says we need half a, uh, one cup of water. Okay. Is that water? Yes, it's water. Okay. Have how much? One, one cup. One cup. Perfect. Gotta get the eggs. You need three eggs. I only have two. Well, you need three. Two will be fine. Okay, but it says three and... Well, we don't have three. Two is gonna be fine. Well, that can't be exactly necessary. What's the difference between two and three? A little less fattening. A cake? Nah. A little, little less fattening. I think we can use two. I don't want to go to the store to get another egg, so we just use a two. All right. All right. All right, here. It's not going to be cake. Oh. <gasps> well, now you don't even have two. Well, you're making a mess. Well, that. Well, now we have to use the one. Well, What's now it? you're definitely not going to have a cake. Now you want to scrape, scrape it off or No. God. Okay. Well, then we got to go. We're going with one egg. It'll be fine. It's not going to be. It's not going to be fine. Why not? Because it, it's not it can't be that important. These things aren't, aren't, aren't like life or death instructions. Well, then why do you think they put it on there? Because someone's trying to sell eggs. Probably, probably has, the guy probably has a chicken farm. 
He's not the one selling you the eggs. Well, I'm sure it's a conspiracy. Somebody's, oh. trying, somebody's trying to sell more eggs than, than necessary. Mess all over eggs. <laughs> My God. Okay, not an egg in the cake. I mean, in the I'm cake. making a cake here. Why would you put vinegar in because it? Because I don't have any. You had to go halfway across the house to get the water. I don't think these things are are, are, are exact. They're just suggestions. You know, you, get, you if you get close, you're good. Okay. Well, what's the next thing you're supposed to do? Look, I, I you know I haven't baked cake, baked cake before, but this is not that complicated. I'm I'm quite certain that I, I can do it without any instruction. Okay, so it says bake at three hundred. Oh, pour no. You gotta mix. We had to mix it. Yes. Okay, so we gotta mix it with this thing. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you're supposed to use the mixer, but. You know. All right, I'm gonna get this train moving. I got to get on the phone with Okay. Well, you gotta mix oh, it. Oh, mix it up. Oh, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> it's a little dry. I guess the secret is to be consistent. Well, you know, so when you start baking, you start the cake. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep keep, keep the train you gotta, moving. You can't, you can't. Uh, you can't mix it and come back for two or three days? No. Oh, okay. Because you have eggs in there. Do we have, I can see the eggs. There's plenty of egg in this, in this recipe. Not, I, we do not need... It I'm is. telling the guy was trying to sell eggs. It's I'm, just water. He it's must just, have had a chicken farm. You need the other eggs. It's going to be dry. Well, add some more water I'm to it. I'm not even sure... What? Well, add some more water. You want to just add extra water? If it's dry, that's what you do. If the car overheats, you put water in it. Right, but now the car no water. out of gas, you don't put get water. Well, it's not out of gas, it's dry, you said. So we need to put some more water in. Stick some water in that thing. Oh, okay. A little bit more. I don't think that's... Fine. <gasps> there you go, perfect. Oh, that's, that's perfect. Dear. That's perfect. But it is never going to... You are never... You're going to have pudding. Not even pudding. It's pudding is good. Yucky. No, that's perfect. It's not going to work. Are you taking notes? Because I mean, I'm, I think it's, this recipe here, I guarantee, is going to taste better than this recipe. We're going to actually reinvent the entire cake making process, work. and we'll have our we'll have our own direction. If it worked, to just because I don't know why we fall in this crack. Who, who is this person, Betty Crocker, or whatever her name is? Pillsbury. Pillsbury. What? Who's? What? I don't think she knows what she's talking about. This is fine. Look, it's fine. Look. Oh my god. It's perfect. It's just all Look, water, though. Anything wrong with that cake? Can you guys see that right there? It's perfect. Look. Fake. And we changed the recipe a little bit because it wasn't, you know, and it's fine. It's fine. You only think it's, you. it only looks fine on the surface. Yeah. You know what? See? Oh. There's nothing wrong with that. It tastes perfectly. It tastes like watery. Give me a pencil. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to cross this out and change this in the structure because I, don't, I, don't, I, I think this is a... A lame attempt of, of, of selling more just... groceries. So we're going to change this from three to two. It says a half a cup of water. How much water do you think we have in there now? Two half cups. Two cups of water. Two cups. And you watch. We 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 reduced. Well, actually, we went with one egg. So we saved money on one uh, on having two oh eggs. We went God. with one, and we doubled the water. And, and water's free. What else we got to do now? It says it says um, pour the batter into the in, into the into the can. You know, it would have been easier just to do it the way that they said. Nah. No, because th th how do we know they know what they're talking about? Well, they printed it on the box. Well, they... Okay. They're yeah. still in business. But it doesn't mean that somebody that, came, that has a little bit more intelligence can come along and, and, and discover a new process and improve what's already been done. I mean, you know... Right, but shouldn't you have started with the basic cake first? We like did. We just altered it because, you know... Things happen. Not everybody can do everything exactly the same way. I mean, you know, not everybody has three eggs, and I'm sure you can you can only you, you can use one or maybe even two, and and you know save some money and come out with still with the same kind of cake. Why you, can't you? You're not gonna have the same cake. I think we are. If that would have worked. That's what they would have put on the box. Uh, I'm telling you, these guys are trying to sell. They're, they're trying to sell this stuff. You know, it's like you know, it's like leads. They're trying to sell this stuff. They're making money on this crap. It doesn't mean it's actually required. If your way worked, then you would have yours would have been printed on the box. It will be the next one printed. I promise. I am going to prove to you that this works, and we can do. We can. We can not follow the recipe, and we can get great results. You only think that you can get great results because on the surface it looks like it will work. It look. Okay. It looks right. the same. But you don't. Right. But you haven't gone through the whole process yet. You haven't baked it. You haven't tried to bake it. And on the other end, it's not going to work. It only looks like it works right now 
I think you should have a positive attitude, <laughs> and you know, and you ought to be willing to go go out, you know, go outside the box a little bit. And I you should like you the should box. you should encourage me to be thinking outside the box and not just be a, a student of a fallen direction, but but maybe try to improve things. But you told me you wanted to make a cake. I do want. I'm we're good. We're making a cake, and I'm telling you, when you taste, it's gonna be perfect. Okay. Well, we'll see. All right. What's so next? now we're gonna uh, bake it, but Steve didn't want to do 350. We're at 450 because we now only got about 450. I only got about 20 minutes left of my appointment. And I think I think you only got. I think that's about almost. And this thing says this says 34 to 4, 38 minutes. We increase it by 100 degrees. I'm sure we could get it out of here in 15 minutes. Not gonna be on time by my appointment. So you want me to only bake it for 15? Yeah. minutes? Yeah. And what's and this toothpick it, nonsense here? Toothpick inserted in the center. I don't want toothpicks in my cake. <laughs> You can't read the sentences out of order. I don't want the toothpaste. Who puts toothpaste in a cake? When a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean, the cake is done. I, I will say this though: if you haven't baked a cake before, I can look. I can. I can stick my finger in it or look at look at it, look at it. Don't and, you and dare! Just, and, and determine that it's done. I don't need to stick a toothpick in it. You put toothpicks in your, in your mouth to get the food out, not in. No, you put a toothpick in the center of the cake. Yeah. After, when the time is up, you put a toothpick in there and you pull the toothpick out just really quickly. Mm. And if there's wet cake batter on the toothpick, it's not done yet. And if it if there's no wet batter on the toothpick, then the cake is done. Yours is uh, either going look, to. Look, I understand the recipe and this and this Pillsbury person who I had never heard of. Really, you've never heard of Pillsbury? No, and I'm sure I, 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 somebody. Whatever. I mean, it's a cute little figurine here and all that stuff. But I, but I, I'm quite certain. Do you remember this thing? No, I'm quite certain that you know, th we, there's other ways to bake a cake. We don't, you know, I, I think we can create our own. You probably could create your own. Yeah. But you probably should have mastered this way first. We don't know this person know that knows anything we about baking. We do, and you know how we know because he's this cute little Pillsbury guy. Mm. And when you don't you remember when you push on his belly, he goes. <laughs> no, no, I, I was actually working for a living, not watching <laughs> stuffed marshmallows animated on the television set. Okay, circling back. Are you ready to put your cake in the oven? Your whatever this is in the oven? Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's do it. So I, I guess we'll see I, you guys. I just gonna work out. And, you know, you wish you guys were over here because you, we would show you that you don't necessarily have to follow the recipe. I mean, I realize that you know, people, that that's the. People, people like the idea of being told what to do and having a script and all that stuff. But that doesn't mean that they're right. You don't know that they're right. We, we, you, should, you should encourage creative thinking and think outside the box and not necessarily follow exactly what someone wrote down. Some, you know, some quack that has a little stuff talking marshmallow here. Uh, you, should be, you should encourage creative thinking because this actually may very well be a better cake. And I can do it for less money because, you know, I'm on a budget. I'm on a tight budget. And, and I saved two eggs. How much is today? Then maybe baking cakes is not something you should do right now. Well, I, I, I'm, 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 I promise you, Angela, that this is going to turn out perfect, and you're going to, and you're going to owe me an apology because, you know, you know. I wish that they were here so that they. I realize you have some experience, but I have some experience too. Not baking cakes necessarily, but but I but I'm pretty. I can. I'm sure I can what, better, what create you, a better what system. What kinds of things have you cooked? I haven't cooked anything, but again, that's, that, that's the beauty of this situation, is that I come in here with very you know, limited knowledge you know, cook, and improve the situation. I cook every day. I understand. But so that doesn't mean that you, maybe you're in a rut. Maybe, maybe you need somebody like me to come in here that, don't, that doesn't necessarily have the experience that you had and improve on what you've been doing for so long that you didn't need to do and you've been wasting money. You could have saved two eggs for every cake that you've baked in the last 10 years. So let's bake your cake. Okay. And if it comes out better than Pillsbury's cake. Then my picture would be on the box. And your picture would be on the box. That's box. right. But if you're in the area, maybe you could come by with dessert because I don't think we're going to be having cake tonight. I, I guarantee you this is going to be a great cake. And great. And we're going to save money and we're going to shortcut the process. You think it's going to look like the box? Yeah. And we're going to shortcut the process. And you're going to owe me an apology. Okay. Here goes. Cake's going in the oven. Cake's going in the oven. Here we go. You have to open the door. Oh, it doesn't have to make it open it by no, itself? No, it doesn't open by itself. It's so hot. That's perfect. 
It's perfect. Okay. Let me just tell you something. You know, I'm, I'm going I'm to be making so much money off this cake, and I'm, I'm going to spend less money than all everybody you've taught in the past. I'm going to spend less money making a better cake. And I'm, I, I can already see my, my income going up in my bank account. Right, right but you see, here's the problem. It is you if you had just followed the recipe on the box the cake would have already been not only in the oven but it already would have been halfway cooked i understand that but i'm doing it for less money on a tight budget and we're going to come out of this thing with a better cake spending less money and i'm actually going to improve your system don't you think that if you could do it for so much less money on such a better system that somebody would have already done it and been no succeeding? because they've all they've all just blindly followed your script mm, no I think so. No, I think, most I think, I think of the people, be... most of the people who try and make a cake with you know twice as much water and only one egg, and they try and you know I don't know I don't know what this flash burn system is we're going to do here for 450 degrees. Uh, what ends up happening is they don't have cakes, and then and then they've spent the one egg that they do have. They've spent their money on the cake mix, and now they don't have a cake mix. Well, they're not as far as I am because I'm 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 convinced this is going to work. I, I, I'm convinced. You know, I came here hoping that you would help me learn how to bake cakes. But I tried I, to. I, in the end, I'm going to tell you right now that I know better than this Pillsbury. Well, I guess we'll see. So, uh, yep. Steve is so, going to make uh, something be, you know, else. Minutes. Steve is going to make something else tonight, just as a backup, and we'll see how our cake uh, turns out here in just a few minutes. So we we'll revive back. Stay tuned for the. I the, want you to, maybe I should go get changed and so uh, you'll be ready for my picture for the front of the maybe box. Maybe this is like our fake it till you make it cooking show. Maybe it is. Doubtful, but I, I think we still have day jobs. I, I think this is going to be legendary. I think I really this do. is going to be a legendary too. I think it's going to be, I think I'm, I can see my, my name in lights. No doubt. As, no as, doubt. as one of your top, top bakers. Trust me, we'll be right back, back. Bye. I don't know anybody that does this, however. You know, who does this, okay? I'm just saying, I mean, I'm not totally ignorant on how to, how to bake things. They're labeled. I was just trying to make it easier for you. And here's the cornstarch. And a little less cleanup for me. Isn't that a beautiful cake? What's wrong with it? I don't even know what this well, is. Well, that's okay. So maybe, maybe, maybe uh, I don't know. Maybe it just looks awful. But it, it tastes good. I'm sure it tastes good. Maybe mine looks a little different than yours. But I'm sure it tastes good. Put it out here. Let's, let's give it a try. I'm sure it tastes fine. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it tastes fine. Okay. Let's carve it up here. What's wrong with this? This is about like your brownies. <laughs> I can honestly and happily report that this doesn't look like anything I've ever cooked. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, like, I think it looks pretty good. You want to want to taste? It's it's kind of raw in there. Maybe it's all that water. Nah, it's not raw. It's not cake. Because it doesn't look like gore doesn't mean it's not right. Well, kind of, yeah, because you wanted to make a cake. So now you, it's not. Look, ouch. <laughs> it's hot. And we're supposed to let it cool. Let's try a little piece. But you're supposed to let it cool. Do you want, I tell you, stop listening to these cracked Pillsbury. We can come up with a better process. Hey, you want, to, you want to try some? Not really. I'm going to be. All right. Minnie, you want to try some? Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. It's really terrible. I guess we didn't bake a cake. It's, there's no, it's got no, first of all, it doesn't, it. And it costs less. But it's not a cake. It's not a cake. You think that's why they have a now, recipe? I think that's why they have a recipe because now you wasted your money, mm. the little money that you did have just to get started in baking. 
and your time, which you didn't have a lot of time, by trying to do it different. And in the end, we didn't bake a cake. Oh. It's no, it's, I don't even know. Part of it is still on the roof of my mouth. Well, maybe the recipe doesn't work. Okay, then I'll make you a cake by the recipe. Well, let's just see how your lemon meringue pie comes out, because you always follow the recipe exactly with that. Exactly. So, uh, comment in the comments box if you want to see the pie. So comment with the word pie if you want to see Steve's lemon meringue pie when it's all done, after you followed the directions. Uh, and this is not a cake. I guess we didn't make a cake. No. That's okay. Because you know what? If you do follow the... <laughs> now you've made a mess on my floor. That is... Here it is! Day just gets better. If you do follow the instructions, you know that you'll get a cake. You may think that you could make a better cake or a fancier cake or a whizzy bang cake, but you know what you should start off by doing first? Mastering making the cake. Just master the basics of making a cake. And if you do that, you'll have a successful business. Uh, so you'll you're saying trust the process, so, yeah. follow the system, follow the recipe that's been time tested and proven to work by hundreds and thousands of agents that have gone before you. If you don't have a system to follow because whoever brought you into the business doesn't have one, then you need to find another coach. Yeah that does have a time-tested and proven system. Right. Fruits of, on the tree, in other words, trees bearing fruit, which means there's a, a system of success in place. And then follow the system exactly as the recipe calls for. And ask them, you know, what's your system for working virtually? Or what's your system for working leads? Or what's yeah. your system for buying leads? You know, what types of leads? Um, what's your system for a phone script and what's your system for, you know, processing business? Ask them all those things because that's why there are three eggs and a half a cup of this and a one cup of that. That's why. Those are all the individual pieces that make up the si oh, God, we may have to throw out the pan. But rest assured, just like with this cake, you can draw a line in the sand, call it quits, and uh, make yourself go back, start over, follow yeah. the system. So it's always a new day, and, yep. but don't bankrupt yourself. I guess many people come to this business with very little cash flow, and they're trying to bootstrap their business, which is why it's so very important to get involved with somebody that knows what they're doing, has a training program in place, isn't just an upline or just a recruiter that's, that's trying to sign you out and make money off your back actually is partnering with you and can teach you the business every day, case by case, day by day, before, during, and after the, your appointments. That's a partner. Someone who's signing you up and throwing you into the system that the IMO has is not a partner. That's an upline who's looking to make money off your back. That's the point. And the reason why we came up with this little skit is that this is probably the number one problem we, that we see in agents is that they come here wanting a training program that's successful. They want to be taught, but then we spend the majority of our time convincing them to just follow the system that we have in place that works and stop altering it, stop tweaking it, stop trying to make it your own. And all and the this, other stuff we get, we can, we get, we get. This is a real, was a real, really good example, and I'm glad that we did it this way because most people don't change. They don't feel like they're changing the system dramatically. You know, one egg versus three eggs. You know, most people would say, okay, that's that's really a minor change. I mean, how much of a difference could that make? It makes a big difference. Uh, you know, 350 degrees versus 450 degrees. At the end of the day, we still had something that kind of looked like a cake, right? Uh, you could have frosted over and the I think it's going to catch on eventually. Yeah. You know, you I could think, have... You I think could it'll have catch on. I think, I think it's going to be a little think, popular cake. I, well, I don't... Well, that's okay. Uh, anyway. Uh, you know, it, it still resembled a cake. But... It looks like a cake. When you start really digging down into it, you realize that it's not a cake. It's just... It's just not. And so, I think the real point to that is this. 
most people don't come in and say, oh, great, you have a system. Okay, well, I'm going to do just totally the exact opposite. I'm not going to follow anything that you say. What most people do that struggle is they start making these just minor adjustments, right? Little, little things that make a big difference, right? One egg versus three eggs or a half a cup instead of a cup and a hundred degrees one way or the other. It's, and that's why we wanted to do this is because it still looks kind of like a cake, but it's not. You have to follow the system the way that it is. It's not about, you know, you hanging upside down off of a, you know, I don't know, a park bench to try and gin up business. It's not about doing some, you know, most agents don't come in here and want to do crazy and weird things. They just make small enough adjustments that throw them completely off track no. and you just can't do it. No. And, and, and potentially it can cost you your success in the business. Yep. Because you keep messing with the system that's in place, the one that works, you keep trying to make it your own, you tweak this, you tweak that, you're, you're an assistant like I was, that if it calls for 350, 450 would work. If it calls for three eggs, one will work. You know, and you keep doing that stuff till you burn through money, buying leads, um, and not having any success, not writing any policies, not writing any applications that actually get approved. Uh, because you're writing the wrong products, which Angela helps all of her agents with. She helps them in the underwriting process, so they, they write products that actually get underwritten, get issued, so the agent gets paid. That's why it's a partnership, right? And you get beaten down. Yeah, and you run out of money, and you run out of time, and then, and then what do we hear, Angela? Well, you know, Steve, I'm going to have to get a job, job a part-time gig, just to, you know, to bring in some cash so that I can, uh, you know, be able, be able to afford to buy leads. And I can tell you after 40 plus years, that is the same thing as I quit, just worded differently. Because people, uh, they'll go get a job, they'll start making money, this gets in the, put on the back burner and it gets further and further and further on the back. You fall into the, get the comfort zone again because you're making money now, you don't really need to do this because you forget what the industry does for us. It's not a job, it can't be compared to a job. It is a business that you can run three or four days a week. You can work it around your family, around your hobbies, around the things that you love doing and make a very good income and you can never do that with a job. And so when people tell me, hey Steve, I, I, you know, I got hired on a job so I'm not, I'm, I don't need to do the insurance now so I'm gonna quit before they even get started, they miss the entire compensation package and why to do this business. We're in this business because we get paid so very well and we can build an incredible income. We get paid upfront, we get paid renewals, we get paid passive incomes, all kinds of stuff. But you got to, you know, again, you got to have to, you have to understand it's not a job. You got to make an investment, both time and money. And you're going to, there's going to be good days and bad. Like there is, a, you said the other day, you were talking about the other day, when, you, when you, we were talking about, you know, going to work every day, working for some other jackass, it's not necessarily easy either. And you still get, you all you get from him is a paycheck. You don't get a future. Um, and you don't, uh, you have no chance of building anything for yourself. You clock in, you clock out. Yeah. Right. So follow the system. That was the whole reason why we went through this entire process. So the only thing we got to do right now is, Angela, is we, ha we open up this little thing here and we have a party! <laughs> but I'm not cleaning this up. I just, I want to be so clear on that. You are going to eat this cake and you are going to clean this mess. No! <laughs> not oh, only me. There. You want me to throw it that, yeah, way? that way? Okay, you ready? Throw, throw, throw it on the camera. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you later, guys. Hey, if you've got something out of the video, do us a favor. We, we're, we're happy that you're here. Um, happy to make fools of ourselves. Subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. We're going to try to mix things up. Like the video, share it with somebody else, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. It's supposed to be a little bit of flour, it's in your eye. <laughs>